Akron Athletics presents Brought to you by Bryant Heating and Cooling Whatever it takes Miller Lite It's Miller time And the Spaghetti Warehouse Located at 510 South Main Street Building 33 in Akron, Ohio Home of the 15 layer lasagna And here's your host Joe Dunn Hello again, everyone. Welcome to a brand new season of Zips Football Weekly with head coach Tom Arth. My name's Joe Dunn, and we're going to be with you every week to update you on what's happening with the Zip Football program and what's happening this week. Finally, we've got University of Akron football, and coach, I know you couldn't be happier to get the season underway on Wednesday night. We are incredibly excited. Uh, this has been a wild year, yeah. uh, to say the least, and I know what we've gone through as, as coaches and student athletes pales in comparison to uh, what so many people yeah. have had to deal with through this pandemic. But uh, to know that our season is, is right around the corner and we're about to have the opportunity to go out there and compete um, is, is so exciting. And there's so much anticipation and you can just, you can just feel it, you yeah. know, across campus. And uh, we're excited to be, to be back out there. As we said, the Zips will open up the season this Wednesday night at home, InfoCision Stadium, 6 o'clock kickoff against the Western Michigan Broncos. We'll have a little scouting report on Western Michigan a little bit later in the program. But coach, everybody is hungry for some information on your team, so let's get started. Let's start offensively. I know you're not ready yet to name that starting quarterback, but let me ask you this. How many quarterbacks are you working with, and what's it look like in the quarterback room? You know, th this, has been, uh, this has been an awesome quarterback competition, uh, to be honest. One of the best that I've, that I've been a part of uh, as a coach, and for that matter, even as a player. Um, I've seen so much growth and so much development uh, of each of our quarterbacks within our offense. And, the way they command the team, uh, their understanding of our system and what, uh, what we're trying to accomplish has been uh, so greatly enhanced. And I've been really, really proud of those guys and they've made each other better. Yeah. And I think that's been the really big thing uh, for us is, is, is just getting better. And I know this group has, and uh, you know, we, uh, we have five quarterbacks in our program right now. And um, you know, they've all gotten you know, really great opportunities and I'm um, excited, uh, excited to see how they play this year. So Wednesday night, whoever trots out will be the starting quarterback, That's correct? right, that's right. right. I'm looking forward to it. As a former quarterback yourself, Coach, you know how important that offensive line is to the quarterback, to the running game, the passing game. Tell us about the offensive line this year. You know, our offensive line uh, is a young group. Uh, we're, you know, really spearheaded by Bryce Peterson, our center, uh, who's a senior for us. And uh, he has really taken the reins of the offensive line and done a fantastic job uh, as the leader of that group and really bringing along some of the younger players uh, in the program. And, and I'll be honest, I have been so impressed with the young offensive linemen. You know, you look at it, they're, they're true freshmen, they're redshirt freshmen. And the development that I've seen in them, you know, even in the last two months, um, has completely exceeded my expectations. And, you know, we have a long way to go, and there'll be growing pains um, that go along with that. But the way that they work, um, you know, the way that they play together, the way that they communicate has been, has been really exciting to watch. The way the NCAA has set up the rules coach with another year of eligibility, it looks like this young offensive line group will be together for quite a few years. And that's right, and I think that's the that's the great thing about it is, you know, you have this this core group of offensive yeah. linemen who are big guys. They're physical, um, they're smart, they're really smart. Um, they play well together, and to think that you know they're going to get all this experience this season, and then to be able to turn around and still all be freshmen right. um, next year is uh, is pretty exciting for uh, for for Akron football. Let's move to the backfield, uh, the running back situation, Coach. What's it look like? You know, that's uh, that's another area where I definitely feel like we uh, where we have improved. Um, you know, added some uh, some new players. Uh, to the program and, and Cole Guest and, and Tion Dollard, yeah. uh, as well as our freshmen, John Zell Norrells, Isaiah Childs, uh, Jamison Jodway. Um, and I have really uh, seen a lot from that group, um, not only you know, in their ability to run the ball and to, to, to make good, efficient runs, but they also have the ability to, you know, to break some big ones. And uh, they've been uh, really reliable out of the backfield catching the football. And, uh, have shown uh, to to be able to pass protect as well. So I feel, um, you know, we're in we're in good position there uh, with our running backs. You know, Cole Guest is an interesting name to Northeastern Ohio fans. He played at St. Ed's and over to Indiana to play in the Big Ten. Now back in his final year, 
and I think he's ready for a good year. He is. Uh, you know, Cole's, uh, Cole's an exciting uh, player. He, you know, very, uh, very excited when the opportunity presented itself, and he was interested in transferring. And I had, you know, was coaching at John Carroll when Cole yeah. was playing at St. Ed. So I uh, had a chance to watch Cole play a lot of games and see him practice and, uh, you know, just know, you know, what a tough competitor he is and how talented he is. And, that, you know, his, his career at Indiana uh, speaks to that. He yeah. had opportunity to play as a true freshman. And uh, so to have somebody with that level of experience and ability in our program is, is, is awesome. I know when you announced your recruits with uh, Dollar, the young junior college player, you would go on out there yourself and talk to a lot of junior college coaches. Every name, uh, every coach you talk to mentioned him. He's much special. He is. Uh, you know, Tion has been, uh, has been an absolute pleasure to coach. Um, he's, a, he's a great, great young man and works really hard, is very competitive. Football means so much to him. And doing things the right way means a lot to him. If he makes a mistake, it's, uh, you know, it's really personal. And yeah. it's, you know, he, he, I see him out there now and, you know, he's getting mental reps when he's not, uh, when he's not uh, the, the running back in the, in, the, in the practice. He's standing about 15 yards back going through the play as if he was in. And, um, you know, he's, uh, he's an exciting, exciting young man to, to coach. That leaves us with the wide receivers. A pretty good group, Coach? Absolutely. I think that's, uh, that's our, our most experienced position uh, returning on the offensive side. And, um, you know, a number of guys that had uh, solid seasons for us last year that, that come back and uh, were able to add, you know, a few new players yeah. uh, into that mix that have, that have also been exciting. And, um, you know, Mike Matheson, uh, Julian Hicks, uh, Nate Stewart, uh, Boogie, of course, Tim Scipio, you know, those guys that all played uh, meaningful time for us last year and, and did some really good things. Uh, to have them all back and that veteran experience uh, means a lot. And adding George Qualls, uh, another junior college transfer uh, who's proven to be a really dynamic player, um, as well as some of our young, uh, some of our young players yeah. uh, to that group has, has been awesome. Looking forward to watching those young men. I know you are, too. We're going to take a break and back with our special feature brought to you each week by Spaghetti Warehouse. So don't go away. We're back right after this. I'm here. This isn't a stop on my way somewhere else. This is my way up. This city, this university. Akron is where I learn to outwork and outsmart. To aim high, then raise the bar. Because Zips never settle for less. No entitlement, no excuses, just my education. My future. I'm on the rise, and we are Akron. It takes attention to detail. With your local Bryant dealer, you're getting more than just a technician. You're getting someone who pays attention to your needs and the little things that make a big difference. It takes a dealer you can rely on. And to keep your family warm this winter, here, let me show you how this works. It takes Bryant. Bryant, whatever it takes. And to keep your family comfortable, it takes Choice Air HVAC. Find them at choiceairwithane.com. Okay, welcome back to Zips Football Weekly. As we said, the Zips open up Wednesday night, 6 o'clock at home against Western Michigan. And if you're fortunate enough to be one of the fans that are going to be allowed in InfoCision Stadium, here's what to think about when you come in. Our special feature this week on fans attending InfoCision Stadium. The last few months have been crazy, um, but really uh, the COVID uh, pandemic has brought a lot of people together. A lot of people in our area across the country in facilities and operations and events have been able to, to share ideas and thoughts uh, through so many different platforms. Um, what worked, what hasn't worked, um, everything from documentation to venue layouts to pictures to how signage works best in your, in your, in your venues. Um, it's really been a group effort. And then now here at the University of Akron, getting ready for our, our first big event, which will be our home football game. Um, it's been a campus group effort. Uh, through signage, uh, through our health and safety department, through our amazing sports medicine staff. Uh, we're doing everything we can to make sure that the venue is safe uh, and our athletes and our guests are safe. Initially, you know, we, we planned on having fans this season. Unfortunately, with everything that happened, there aren't going to be general public sales. So we got to give the season ticket holders three different options. They can keep that credit on their account for next season. They could donate it to our Z Fund, which is our scholarship arm in the athletic department, or they can keep, or they can re, um, get a full refund. So we give everybody the option. Um, 
ago. We gave everybody the option a couple months ago once the Mac announced there's no general fans. The very first thing we did was we already separated our guests in two different lots. Uh, our University of Akron Zips guests will be parking in lot nine and our visiting guests for this game, Western Michigan, will be directed to a different, uh, a different parking lot closer to their gate to already beginning the separation process of our guests during the game. So the Mid-American Conference let each school kind of run with that and make their own decisions in those regards. So we're allowing the Akron football student athletes a guest list like they normally have. We're also allowing the visiting team a guest list. So for the three teams coming in, they're gonna get a guest list for family and friends. And then also the coaches have a guest list. So those are gonna be the, the people that you're gonna see in the Stadium Bowl this season. Working with our great ticket staff uh, and our marketing staff, one thing we did was we sectioned off the seating in what we call pods of four and each pod is specific to a player or a coach's staff uh, to their request. So when, you are, when our guests get their tickets, they'll be in specific seats in a specific section um, and they will be social distance more than six feet from the next group of four people. So we have separated groups of four, we have rows shut down in between groups, so we have people separated into basically what is 60 people sitting in a section uh, originally meant for 512. We'll have signage everywhere telling you to maintain six feet distance, uh, all the special sanitary uh, things you should be doing, washing your hands, keeping your face mask on, um, and, and sanitizing as often as you can. Uh, when you get to our main concourse, we'll have it set up in one-way flow uh, concept. Basically kind of like a highway. Uh, one way down and one way back to kind of, again, keep our guests uh, separated from one another so that they're not congregating in certain areas. All of the staff in InfoCision Stadium, uh, as well as all of our guests that day, we expect to have masks on. Our, uh, our crew working that day will also have backup masks. So in case someone forgets one, or in case theirs gets damaged or lost or, or ruined, we have backup masks to hand out to our guests and any of our workers that are here that day. But the main thing is to make sure that you're doing a symptom check of yourself. Make sure that you yourself and the people traveling with you are healthy um, before you come into InfoCision Stadium that day. And then of course, while you are inside InfoCision Stadium, our requirement is that you keep a mask on throughout the duration of the game uh, until you are eating or drinking anything while you're at your seats. Coach, I know you don't pay a lot of attention to how many people are in the stadium or the marching band, but it's going to be odd. It's not going to be a normal college football game. No marching band, limited fans, a little bit different for you. It will be, uh, you know, and it'll be a lot like practice. Yeah. And I think that's, you know, the one, the one benefit is we have been able to prepare for that. You sure. Know, we do it every day, you know, out of practice. And, uh, you know, we do the simulated crowd noise, which the Mac has approved up to about 70 decibels. So we've done a little bit of that. We've done some periods where it's just been complete silence um, and just, you know, players getting used to, to practicing like that. Uh, but, you know, it'll be, it'll be a little bit different, but I think we'll, we'll adjust well. I hope so, because we've got a big football game coming up Wednesday night. As we said, 6 o'clock kickoff, Western Michigan will be there. We'll come back and talk about the defense, big defense coming up this year for the Zips right after this. <laughs> Miller Lite is brewed for great taste with only 96 calories and zero grams of sugar. So when one's done, it's the perfect time to start another. Miller Lite, hold true. It takes attention to detail. With your local Bryant dealer, you're getting more than just a technician. You're getting someone who pays attention to your needs and the little things that make a big difference. It takes a dealer you can rely on and to keep your family warm this winter? Here, let me show you how this works. It takes Bryant. Bryant, whatever it takes. And to keep your family comfortable, it takes E.H. Roberts Heating and Cooling. Find them at ehroberts.com. Welcome back to Zips Football Weekly as Akron gets ready for their home opener, season opener, Wednesday night against Western Michigan. Coach, talk some defense because defense keeps you in every football game you play. Absolutely. Um, you know, defense is obviously critical uh, to a program's success. And, um, you know, we, uh, we spend a lot of time, uh, you sure. know, working on that side of the ball. And uh, really, you know, how we structure our, our program and our team is really uh, designed to allow our defense to play well. And um, I think Coach Feeney and, and the defensive staff have done a fantastic job here. 
uh, in this you know, early part of, the, of, of, of what has been training camp. Uh, it's been a really big challenge uh, for us on that side of the ball with so many new players. We have new players you know, across our program, uh, but particularly on the defensive side. Yeah. And without having gone through spring ball and you know, all the typical lead up to a season, uh, it's been a really big challenge for us on defense to make sure that we get the right pieces and the, you know, in the in the right roles. And um, I think uh, I think we've done a good job of that. Let's start on the back end of the defense, Coach. Talk about your safeties and corners. I know there's a lot of competition in those areas. There has been. Uh, again, a lot like the the quarterback position. There's been you know been some great battles uh, back there, and you know that's really one of the big areas where you you have so many different options when you have some versatility. Uh, you know, in your defensive backs, guys that can play corner, guys yeah. that can play safety, play nickel. Um, you know, it's really about figuring out, hey, who are those best five and, you know, in what roles uh, do they play the best together in? Uh, but, you know, certainly uh, feel really good about, you know, our, our, our corners that have come back, Jordan Riley and uh, Randy Cochran, mm -hmm. um, that have done a, a great job for us. We've added in, uh, you know, some new uh, corners to the mix, Charles Amanqua. Uh, a couple young guys as well that have been uh, really competing at safety. Uh, Corey Thomas has, has, yeah. has really, you know, stepped up and, and done some nice things for us. Um, Tutu, again, is, uh, you know, is, is, is a staple back there. And um, Jalen Kelly Powell, uh, Wu Guerriere, some new players, um, you know, into the program. Uh, you know, Chu Agbana at corner, I didn't mention him. Um, that's done a great job for us. So again, have some more depth at that position, which is really exciting for us and how we play. Um, you know, there's going to be about five guys out there uh, just about every snap. So we need every one of them. Sure. Let's move up to the linebacker group, Coach. When you talk about linebackers, the University of Akron, you got to start with the kid out of Aurora, Bob Arcelani. And I love to watch him play. And I know you love to watch him play. I do. And I, I'll be honest, Joe, I love to watch him practice. Yeah. Um, he is he's just an unbelievable football player, um, just loves everything about the game, uh, loves the preparation, loves the practice, loves the training. And it shows up, you know, we say it all the time as coaches, you know, particularly the offensive coaches, you know, in training camp, we're watching, you know, the practice film and Coach Gasser was like, hey, everybody just practiced, Bubba just played a game. <laughs> and, you know, that's the mindset and the mentality that he has. And, uh, you know, he's really, you know, the heart and soul of our team. You know, there's a reason why his teammates uh, chose him to be captain. And uh, we're, we're really excited about Bubba and, and, and what he means to our program. Let's talk about the defensive front coach. Seems like those defensive linemen are the toughest people to recruit. Everybody wants them. They are. It's really difficult, uh, really difficult to recruit uh, defensive linemen. They uh, they're they're in high demand, yeah. and um, you know I think uh, you know we've certainly uh, seen development in in that group. Uh, some of the players that were here uh, last season, whether it's Jaquiz Cross or John Mitchell, that came in right before training camp started. Uh, last year have really you know gotten a full year under mm -hmm. their belt and are much better players now uh, than they were. Uh, Bryce Wilson, who was a freshman for us last year that, that played a lot, um, is back and is playing at a really high level. And um, you know have a no number of other guys as well. Uh, Nazir Sai, who's a new player in our program, mm -hmm. uh, transferred in uh, from uh, junior college, um, has done some great things. He's a big athletic guy. Um, so we're we're excited about that group and. I uh, look forward to seeing uh, seeing what they can do this week. One group we haven't talked about, Coach, is special teams, the kickers. How do they look? You know, the kickers have also uh, been really impressive. I think, you know, especially you look at uh, you look at the, the Corey Smeagol and, and Jerry Fitchin. Um, those guys have, have also had a great battle through camp. And, um, you know, I think we've been, uh, you know, really uh, excited about how we've kicked the football. And we've really tried to do a good job as a program of putting our kickers in some tough situations. You know, you do you, – of course, everybody does field goal PAT period, yeah. but you know that's like being on the driving range. You know, you're just you know hitting you know hitting your nine iron ten sure. times in a row is not, it's not like being on the course. And uh, we've tried to 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 manipulate as many situations as we can throughout practice and move the ball periods and scrimmage like periods uh, to get our kickers that live uh, you know type of action end of game two minute situations, uh, whatever it is. And it's been great to see how they've responded. As we said, the Zips in Western Michigan, 6 o'clock Wednesday night at InfoCision Stadium. We're going to come back with a scouting report on the Broncos right after this. I'm here. This isn't a stop on my way somewhere else. This is my way up. This city, this university. Akron is where I learn to outwork and outsmart. To aim high, then raise the bar. Because Zips never settle for less. No entitlement, no excuses, just my education. 
my future. I'm on the rise, and we are Akron. It takes attention to detail. With your local Bryant dealer, you're getting more than just a technician. You're getting someone who pays attention to your needs and the little things that make a big difference. It takes a dealer you can rely on. And to keep your family warm this winter... Here, let me show you how this works. It takes Bryant. Bryant. Whatever it takes. And to keep your family comfortable, it takes Choice Air HVAC. Find them at choiceairwithane.com. As we said many times, Western Michigan coming to town Wednesday night at 6 o'clock. Coach, before we talk about the Broncos, uh, maybe you can give us a couple names of some of the newcomers of a committee, maybe, maybe on both sides of the ball that uh, fans can look forward to watching this year, guys they're not familiar with. Absolutely. I think, uh, you know, if you start on the defensive side of the ball, um, you know, a couple of young guys that I'd, that I'd really highlight. Uh, first, Michael Snowden. Yeah. Uh, he's an inside linebacker from Pittsburgh. Um, absolutely love Mike. Uh, Mike is, is a guy, we're going to talk about, you know, the way we talk about Bubba, you know, in a few years. And uh, just been so impressed with him. Uh, we expect big things from him this season. Uh, Ronald Jackson is a DB from Michigan um, who we're uh, really excited about. He's a big uh, physical DB. Mm -hmm. um, you know, he, uh, he made his presence known and everybody knew his name after right? the first couple practices, especially the wide receivers uh, <laughs> taking, a, taking a couple shots. But, um, you know, those two guys on the defensive side have been, uh, have been really exciting um, to watch. Uh, on the offensive side, I've been really impressed with John Zell Norrells, uh, running back, uh, freshman running back for us out of Toledo. Toledo Central Catholic. That's correct. Yeah, yeah he's, uh, you know, he's a big, uh, big physical back, and he's got great feet. Uh, we're really excited about what uh, the depth that he brings uh, to our program. Uh, a, a young, uh, young player, a true freshman uh, from Penn Hills in Pittsburgh, uh, Tony Grimes. Um, has really, really surprised us. We knew he was a good player coming in, obviously, but uh, the way he has worked and, and produced uh, for our team uh, throughout training camp has been uh, really great to see, and he's going he's gonna to bring a lot to our team. As you know, uh, Coach, recruiting is a funny business. You can't look inside a kid and see how bad he wants it. You can't tell what type of player you have till they get on campus. You're absolutely right. And, uh, you know, this year, this, this recruiting class is, uh, is, is making that uh, even, even a bigger challenge, sure. not having uh, the same ability to get to know uh, these guys in person. Um, but, uh, but certainly, uh, you know, when, when, when these players get to arrive to our campus, you learn a lot about them. And um, I think we have a lot of really good young, young talent in our program. Coach, let's talk a little bit about the Mid-American Conference and then about Western Michigan. How do you look at the conference this year? You know, I think it's, uh, I think it's a really competitive conference, you know, and I think you just, you know, you look back at the history of, of the MAC and, you know, in the last, um, you know, last 10 years or so, it's, it's, it, you know, it's, a, it's a battle every year and you have different teams uh, coming out of the East, different teams coming out of the West every year playing in the conference championship. And, um, you know, I think it's, uh, it's all about who, you know, who's ready, you know, yeah. who's ready from, from the beginning and who can play consistently um, throughout the season. And we're, we're excited for that challenge and uh, look forward to getting started on Wednesday. Western Michigan perennially has been one of the better teams in the conference, along with Toledo out West. They've been right there. Tim Lester, the coach, another former quarterback coach. Right. Uh, and uh, he's been there, I think, his fourth year at Western Michigan. They're always good. They are, uh, and you know, Tim. Tim's a, a great coach, and obviously was a great player. Um, and uh, you know, to have the have the opportunity to coach, you know, at your at your alma mater is yeah. you know is is something that's really special. Um, and uh, he's done a fantastic job with that program. They're they're a great football team. They're big. They're fast. They're physical. Uh, they play really well um, in all three phases of the game, and it's going to present a great challenge for us uh, to start the season and uh, to really see uh, how far we've come. They have the MAC Defensive Player of the Year, I think, back in Trey Hayward. They got a sophomore quarterback that played a lot last year as a freshman, so they're pretty experienced on both sides of the ball. They are. Um, you know, their defensive line uh, certainly is, uh, is it presents a challenge uh, for for us offensively. Uh, I think that's uh, that's the heart and soul of, of that defense, and uh, they're very good up front. Uh, offensively, as you mentioned, Caleb, uh, you know, is coming back as. Uh, didn't play it all last year, didn't play much last year, but played quite a bit, uh, you know, a couple years ago. And you go back and you watch those games, and he's a good player. He was really productive yeah, was. a couple years ago, throws a great deep pass, and um, I think that's something that we'll have to be ready for in the secondary to defend some of those, uh, some of those deep balls. I think you mentioned on your uh, press conference, Coach, they have some tough defensive interior people, which means their offensive line, a young group's going to be challenged. 
Yeah, they will be. Uh, but, you know, I think uh, it, it, it's great. You know, it's good for them. And, you know, we'll, we'll do everything we can as, as coaches to, to try to put them in the best positions to be successful. Um, but this is what you want. This is college football. And um, they've worked hard and they've prepared themselves for this moment. And, uh, you know, they're not freshmen anymore. You exactly. know, and that's the reality. They got to go out there and they got to play and they got to produce. And, um, you know, we're all we're all expecting them to do that. There you go, coach. Looking forward to a great season. Thanks for coming over. We'll see you back here next week, hopefully talking about win number one for the Zips against Western Michigan. As always, remember, go Zip. See you next week. Brought to you by Bryant Heating and Cooling. Whatever it takes. Miller Lite. It's Miller time. And the Spaghetti Warehouse. Located at 510 South Main Street, Building 33 in Akron, Ohio. Home of the 15-layer lasagna.